What is going on, Flare Fishing fam? Today it's gonna be a really good day. I'm so excited right now. This is this is great. I didn't really want to get up early this morning. Last night was the Fourth of July. Spent all night, you know, blowing up stuff, lighting off illegal fireworks, all the all the goods that come along with the Fourth of July. But right now, I am going to go do some bass fishing. I actually slept in a little bit. Um, I didn't want to do a whole lot of topwater fishing. Today I have one mission and one mission only, and that is to test out the new Flares frog and flipping rod. I already did a frogging video. You guys probably already saw that. Dude, are you kidding? That's a big one. That's a big one. That's a big one. Oh my god, that's a toad. Today is a flipping video, and I'm with Hooking Hogs, and we are going to be hooking hogs on TV. So we did sleep in a little bit. It's like seven o'clock right now. You guys can see the sun's up, sun, sun's out, guns out. No wind though. We picked a great day to do the flipping challenge. There's trees everywhere on this lake, just absolutely everywhere. So we're gonna we're gonna take some plastics, some jigs, some plastics, bury yourself in the trees all day long. Let's see if we can catch some toads. I'm very excited. If you guys want to buy the Flares Frog and Flipping Stick, I will leave the link down below. We're gonna get put it to the test today. We're gonna see if it can hold up against these true Nebraska brutes flipping and pitching. Oh yeah, um, I'm gonna be calling it flipping all day long, and I know it's not actually flipping, it's pitching. But I don't care, I'm gonna call it flipping because flipping sounds cooler. So just to let you guys know, I know what the difference is. A pitch is when you like, you basically do this, and a flip is when you hold your line out and like you're, I'm not, I'm not, yeah, whatever. You guys know what I'm saying. I'm just saying I know what the difference is. I'm gonna call it the wrong thing all day long and I always will from here on out. Let's go catch some fish. Here we go, folks. Starting off with my all-time favorite summertime bass fishing bait as far as so, uh, soft plastics go. And this is a 10-inch worm. I'm going with the green pumpkin. Uh, I'm going to do this. He's going to go with a like, just more of a creature bait. Let me see your creature bait real quick. Something that's a little bit sm like smaller but has more appendages. I'm just going with the long, long worm. I've had some success with this so far. Going with green pumpkin because it's bright, sunny skies and the water's not all that dirty. We're going to see... We can put this little little flipping stick to the test, catch some fish today. Prime conditions for flipping. Actually, it's not really prime condition for flipping, it's just prime conditions to not do anything else because there's zero wind and it's bluebird skies. Could be could be good, could be bad, I have no idea. I haven't I haven't really flipped and pitched a whole lot at this lake. You guys just see me fish this lake all the time. Normally I'm throwing chatter baits and square bills. We're gonna we're gonna mix it up today and just dedicate the entire vlog to catching fish, flipping, and pitching. I'm gonna to try to give you guys a lot of tips as well, so hopefully you guys stay tuned and enjoy. There's one. Yep. Get him out, get him out. Yep, good, good one. First fish, boys. There you go. First fish. Dude, he had me in those trees too. Five minutes in. Five minutes in, boys. First fish. Ten inch, ten inch worm catches little guys like that as well as toads. We're gonna see if we can find some big ones. That is good. Five minutes in. And we caught one. Flipping flipping the old trees. No way, you actually caught one. Bring him out. Oh, oh he came off! Oh, you should have had the flares frog and stick, dude. You would have caught that one. We've got good depth, it's 10 feet. Okay. Yeah. I think, I figure this might be a good, good little stretch. There's one. Yep. Yep. I was just saying this. Dude, that's a big one. I was just saying this is a good, this looks like a good area. Dude, that's a toad. I can grab it, you're good. You keep fishing. Dude, that's a big one. Yep. That's probably pushing four. <laughs> what the heck is going on? Yeah, I don't know. It's got something. Look at that, right in the roof of the right in the roof of the mouth, like golden hook set. That's a toad. I'll, I'll throw it around the scale. He's pushing four for sure. Three and a half easy. Hell yeah, dude. That's exactly what we came here for. It's just saying the spot looks so good. Bam! You got four, four, one. There you go. Almost four and a half. That's a freaking chunk, dude. Well there she is, folks. Gorgeous. Big old girl, four and a half pounder. Just big. Keep in mind, in Nebraska, five pounder is a master angler, which is kind of a big deal. So look at this gorgeous flip fish. It's exactly what we came here for. Throw big old 10 inch worms, catch big old Nebraska brutes. 
All right, Lucille, see you later. Hell yeah, that's what we came here for. Oh, it makes me feel so good. We went like, I don't know, half an hour without catching a fish. I was talking around, I was like, Ryan, this, this looks really good. We got some good depth here, got some good trees. Right as I said that, boom, four and a half pounder. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, we're gonna go catch another one. What? what? You got one? Oh, dude, it's big. It's way back there too. Just, just, just bring them in. Just bring them in. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're just gonna have to horse them. You're just gonna have to horse them. I'm, I'm going. I'm going. I'm turning. Oh my God, it's a giant. Just hold, hold him tight. Hold him tight. I got you. I got you. Hold him tight. I got you. Just hold him tight, dude. Don't let him get slack. He's up against there. I'm going in for him. We're going in hot. Dive in. I'm gonna go swimming for this fish. Ryan just hooked up on the first one of the day for him. He's right there. I'll grab him. Like just brace yourself. <laughs> Woo! Oh, baby. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Look at that. There's a four pounder. How'd you feel about that one? Is that fun? <laughs> you like flipping or what? I caught him right here. Yeah, dude. What? Yeah, he caught him. I was getting out of back. He caught him. And I had a fish on yeah. way back in here. Yeah. I was over three trees. How's that rod? Dude, <laughs> dude it just literally. That, that thing, it, it just pulled him through all these trees. Kicked ass, dude, dude. That's awesome. Yep. A little over three and a quarter. Check that bad boy out. First fish. He missed one on his rod, so I was feeling feeling nice. I gave him one of the old flipping frog and stick. There you go, dude. Ten, I gave him a ten twirm too. We got the same. I can't believe we got the same got setup. Dude, I had him on that tree for like. We were way back behind that tree, and he I caught it right like here. Thirty yards away. And I saw it, it. It got wrapped in that tree, and it broke off a branch, and then it got hung on that tree. And we turned the troll motor on high and got That's him. That's why you buy the. That's why you buy the flare rod. There she goes. Nice. Yeah. There we go, folks. Ryan's first flip fish of the day. Big old ten inch worm done did it. That was that was like one of the coolest fish retrieval catches I've ever seen. <laughs> we he, like rescued it. All. He caught it 25 yards behind the boat, wrapped around like three trees, <laughs> got it through two of them, and then pinned it up against I'm, one. I'm, and we went and just chased it down and I was caught it. Out of backlash too. When I yeah, got dude, that's incredible. All right, well, there you have it, folks. We're catching fish. I want to give you guys a few tips uh, as well, since we are, you know, filming a, a flipping and pitching video. So you guys, for as far as tips go, I was telling him that the most important thing in this is to make as many casts as possible. Cover water. You know, there's, there's really a hard way for like when you, like you guys can see, like I'm in basically in the middle of like a forest right now. There's, it's really hard to pinpoint where these fish are going to be. Um, you want to pay attention to the depth of the water, um, which right now we're in... It looks like about seven or eight and i caught that one in ten so the fish seem to be like kind of in that mid mid middle to deep range as far as you know flipping and pitching goes sometimes you can catch them shallow but i assume some of them are gonna be on the little bit deeper side and the other thing to pay attention to is the size of the trees this one right here this is a i would consider this a big tree it's a thick tree and then right back there that's more of like a bush and so when you catch a fish you want to pay attention did it come off a bush or did it come off like a tree stump and sometimes they're on both sometimes they're on one sometimes they're, they're not on any of it but that's one thing to pay attention to so pay attention to the depth after you catch a fish and what tree was it was it a thick tree was it a thin tree was it a bush um and those are pretty much all you, and then that's all you need so then let's say we caught all of our fish on big trees and 10 foot of water then i need a, then i know i don't really need to cast or spend a whole lot of time flipping like the the thin bushes and just target the big trees today it seems like we're catching them on both i think we've caught most of ours kind of in the more bushy stuff but i don't think they're target they're like keyed in on just one or the other i think they're kind of they're kind of just mixed in here and you just have to cover a lot of water in order to catch these fish is that fun oh yeah all right that's good he caught a fish i caught a couple of fish we've only been here for like an hour and a half which three fish in an hour and a half is not the greatest but it's not bad it's super hot out here i'm sweating and there's zero wind so the only thing you can do is flip and pitch i'm gonna quit talking though i'm gonna catch some more fish there's one if i got one Quality. Quality! There's a three. Nah, I not quite. Too, you did? Yeah. Well, maybe we found the ju juice. Maybe we found the juice. Salt like two, two and a quarter. Heck yeah. 
Ryan and I, we almost just had doubles. He had one, I had one, just in this little like bush. We went about an hour with nothing. Like I said, it's so important to cover water. We tried lily pads for a minute. We tried frogging for a minute. We tried just everything. And then we came back out to the kind of the main lake a little bit and uh, just caught a fish. So tip of the day, cover water, folks. If you set the, with that rod, you set the hook at any like given strength. Like in there like that. Yeah, if you set the hook decent, you're fine. There's one. Got one. Yep. Good one. Digging. Solid fish, dude. Just let it sit there. Another worm bass. Oh, that's a big one. Hell yeah. Hails yeah. Dang, son. This dude's got a freaking attitude problem. Not the giant that I was looking for, but I'll take it. That's at least two and a half. Gorgeous. Gorgeous little bass. All right, see you later, Gavin. Hell yeah. Woo! Dude, this worm is just going to the freaking town. Again, that was another 20 minutes without a fish. And we're fishing the same, I mean, it's the same stuff. It's all, this, it's all the same. Just cover water, flip and pitch. If you guys don't know how to, how to pitch, get a cup, set it in your living room, and practice every night before you go to bed. And then go out. Like get, get yourself a frog and flipping stick, tie yourself on a worm, start catching bass. My town, yeah, I'm in Bellevue. <laughs> like, bruh. Old. You got one? That's a fish. Yep. Yep. Yep, that's a fish. That was the stupidest hook set ever. I thought I had, I was like on the back side of a tree and it got stuck and it pulled it off of there, so I didn't know that was a fish. That's a good one. Yeah, that is a good one. There we go, thank goodness. Well, that's not how you set the hook, folks. Don't take notes on that part. It was literally stuck on a tree, and so I was just trying to pull it over the top of it, and then all of a sudden it started pulling back. <laughs> and uh, that was a fish, that's a good one. That's honestly pushing three. It's a heavy, heavy fish. Yeah. See, buddy? The old big worm strikes again. Right now we're fishing a little bit of vegetation, as you guys can see. We've been here for a few hours now, and starting to get them a little bit more dialed in. They're still so scattered. So there's no, there's no like real, we haven't really found a solid pattern of what type of trees they're on. They're just in what depth. Really, we're in 12 now. So we've caught them in about five, but anywhere between five and 12 feet. Well, folks, ending the day, hooking hogs. Did you hook any hogs? One. One hog, you had one hog on. You guys should go subscribe to Hook and Hogs TV. If you yeah. haven't, I will link it down quality, below. Quality content. Quality content, emphasis on quality. Today is uh, today was a good day, it's different. I mean, it's only 10.30, so we only, that was what? Three and a half hours? Yeah, I was like- Can't do math, but three and a half hours. Honestly, like we didn't do that bad. I think we caught like seven or eight fish total. You caught one. Yeah. Yeah. He, it's way back in those three. Yeah, he caught one. He had a couple hooked up though. He missed one and then I gave him this exact setup. The new, uh, the new flipping rod and 17 pound line and the big 10 inch worm and what happened? He caught a fish, huh? That was the biggest fish of this lake too, wasn't it? Yep. PB he got his PB, bass. PB bass at this lake today. Pretty, pretty successful day, I'd say. I caught a four and a half pounder, which is, like I said, that's pretty big for for Nebraska. That's not, that's not a standard, standard uh, flare size fish. It's a Nebraska brute. But if you guys want, like I said, if you guys want the flare frog and flipping stick, you guys saw it today. We put it to the test for flipping. And I think I think it did pretty well. It handled all the, all the big fish pretty well. He he had one of like the craziest fish landings of all time. Yep. He was getting out of backlash, and we had like drifted the boat, and the line was wrapped around like four trees. He brought he broke two trees off and pinned the fish up against the other one. It was it was crazy. I honestly like honest opinion, not being biased because my name's on it or anything. Uh, it was a, it was a pretty sick stick. It actually handled fairly fairly well. And it, we, I showed you guys last video of frogging with it. So frogging check flipping check pretty pretty good rod 100 bucks i will leave the link down below seriously would appreciate you guys pick it up pick one up it does help me out um you know now that i'm partnered with favorite and whatnot it's good and let me know what other rods do you want me to design if you guys buy this and like it what do you what do you want do you guys want like a chatterbait rod do you want like an all-purpose rod do you want a flares finesse rod let me know let me know down in the comments down below what what other rod should i should i help design and uh make for you guys and also what price point do you want it at do you guys want like a 50 dollars one do you want like a 200 dollars one 
what what's like your like what's like the price of a rod that you guys would you guys would pay let me know let me know down below say go subscribe to hook and hogs tv i'm gonna go home i'm headed to atlanta georgia in the morning gonna go striper fishing first time ever doing that that's gonna be exciting stuff so hopefully i can get a video put out for you guys from that thank you so much for watching and peace